welcome I am Raghav and today we are going to start with object oriented programming concepts in JavaScript and I will start with classes and I hope you have already seen the earlier lectures and session of this series and you have seen functions and other sessions so today we will start with classes and I will go to my Visual Studio code and here in my folder I will create a new file and I will name this as classes.js and here I will create a class now in case you are completely new to object oriented programming and you want to know why do we use classes and objects I will suggest that you go to my website which is automationstepbystep.com and you will go to the online courses link and here if you go to the Java course here Java programming and it, this will take you to the YouTube playlist and on this playlist I have created a video on classes and object oriented programming so if you go down you will see this video number nine which is what is object oriented programming with examples so here I have shown you with very simple examples and even if you are completely new to object oriented programming you will understand what is object oriented programming and how do we use it I will also make the link available in the description of this video so you can watch that and here to create a class I will use the keyword class and then we give class name and usually it starts with a capital letter the class name which is a good convention and then a curly bracket start and stop so this is how we declare a class now for example I want to create a class for employee I will say employee you can give it any name I'm saying class employee and here now inside this class I can create functions as well so I can say set details and here I can take parameters like name and ID and inside the function I will say this dot name equals name now what does this mean is this name this variable name is coming from whatever is passed as an argument to this function however when I say this dot name this is variable of the class so this is a class variable so the value whatever is coming inside this name in which is coming in the function parameter will be assigned to the class variable name now I can use different function uh, different names as well I can say uh, name one this dot name one equals name uh, that will also work but normally this is how we use it so this is a class variable so when you call this class variable this will be coming from the class and this is what is coming from the function argument so whatever value we will pass in the name here will get stored in the class variable name similarly I will say this dot ID equals to ID and this is how we can just declare a class and a simple function now to create objects or to initialize class we can say outside the class let employee one equals new and we give the class name with brackets so here I have created a object for the class by the name emp1 and now using this object or this object reference I can access the functions and variables of the class so the class has a very uh, has a function called set details I will say emp1 dot set details and here I will pass arguments like John this will go in name and 1001 this will go in ID so now if I say emp1 dot name this will fetch this name from the class and this now has the value John so if I say console dot log and emp1 dot name and similarly I will say console dot log emp1 dot id and I will run this so you can see it is printing John and 1001 now here there is another very important concept of constructor and a class always has a constructor even if you do not provide it it has a constructor and you can also override the default constructor so you can say constructor so this is like a function and the syntax is exactly like a function like you can see this one instead of some function name we have used the keyword constructor and this also I will do the same things here now what is the importance here is constructor of a class is called every time you instantiate a class or every time you create a object of the class so I will just remove this function here so whenever you create an object like here I have created an object of the class this constructor will be called by default and even if you do not provide the constructor there is a default constructor which is always called 
which does not have any parameters but now we can uh, make this we can force the user that whenever you create an object of the class you have to provide the name and id because this is now a constructor and constructor is always called whenever a class is instantiated or an object is created so now here whenever i will i will create an object i will have to provide the name so i can provide it right here and the id and i do not have to now use this similarly i can say let emp2 equals new employee so i'm creating another object emp2 and here i will say this is peter and id is 1002 and now i can just say console.log emp1.name emp1.id similarly for employee 2 as well i can print out name and id like this so if i run this i will clear this and run this again so you can see it is printing the name and id for employee 1 as well as employee 2 so this is in a very simple way how we can create a class and how we can create a constructor of the of the class in the coming sessions we will go more deeply and we will look at uh, more into object oriented programming concepts i hope this was useful please hit the like button and share it with others and i will meet you in the next session of javascript thank you for watching